Chuck Man from uh, NAM 2014. And uh, we're at the Celestian booth. And it's getting kind of crazy around here. We bumped into uh, Dave Amato from REO Speedwagon. How you doing? How you doing, everybody? Good, man. What's happening? It's great. So I'm here with Celestian Speakers. Um, Rick. Rick's my guru over there, Celestian Speakers. Tooling around. Gibson. How long have you been using Celestian? Oh, my God. I played my first Marshall in 1970. And they had Celestian Speakers in it and uh, since probably 70, 1970. So you stuck with them the whole way? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Great, great tone. I'm a Marshall guy, you know, exclusively, and, you know, the 75 watts are in there, or 25 greenbacks, awesome. Oh, the vintage 30s, too. What's your stage rig normally, amp-wise? 75s. 75? Yeah. I got, and uh, you use how many? JCM 800 heads, old, you know, 80s heads, and um, Rick gives me a fresh speaker every two years, a couple of speakers, you know, 75 watt selections. Yeah. That's terrific. You've been with the REO for a long time now. Like, how many years now? 25 years. 25 oh, years. Yeah. I was reading somewhere just recently that you guys did a, a show where Gary Richrath actually came back and played. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we did a, this, um, this benefit for the tornado, uh, you know, victims in um, uh, near near Illinois, you know, in Illinois area. And um, Gary came out. It was, a, it was fitting, you know, a charity thing, you know, raised a lot of money, you know, for the victims there. And... Um, yeah, he came out and jammed with us. It was it was a ball. I, I haven't seen him in years, and we nobody talked. has. I know, I know. Yeah. And we talked and, and we jammed on uh, "Roll with the Changes." That's awesome. It was really fun backstage. You know, it was a good. It's a, still a family. You know, you know. It's, I mean, sure. I wouldn't be there without without Gary. So you know, it's it was it's was great. It was a, it was a great. It was a really, uh, you know, good setting for him to come for that. You know, because exactly. everybody was there for a good purpose, and and he came out and it was a lot of fun. It was great. So you didn't let him let loose during riding the storm out or anything like that? Riding the storm out? Actually, we did do riding the storm out. That was the role of changes, yeah. Famous for that guitar song. I can't remember. Oh, the I, one I, which I you played so well, too. Yeah, well, I, I laid back and let him do his thing. I played like rhythm, you know? I mean, it was great. It was great. Let him let him go, let him loose, you know? He used one of my Marshalls, too, yeah. as a matter of fact. You know, he, he brought an old 59 Les Paul. Wow. It was rocking. And, uh, yeah, it was great. It was fun. It was really a lot of fun. Um, What's 2014 looking for REO? We already did two shows already in Michigan and Chicago. You know, we froze our, uh, our tushies off over there last weekend. Man, this is great weather here. And uh, we got uh, some shows in August and September with Chicago. We're going to try uh, us in Chicago as a package. So some new music coming out? I'm excited. Yeah, we've been working on stuff, yeah, on sound checks and... And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna we'll, we'll be doing something by the end of this year. You know, how many years have you been coming to the NAMM show? My God, probably thirty. It's thirty for me. That's probably thirty for me too. Yeah. What's yeah, it? Because we used to hang together on Orange County. Back oh, in the bar scene, Dave was uh, Dave was a very famous guitar player from back in the day. Oh, no. And now he's even more famous all over the world. Oh no, we had, we had fun. It's and we all looked up to you, man. You know? oh, Still are, because the stage is up there, you know. Thanks. No, I just I just try to you know have some fun with my guitar. You know, I lo I love guitars. I love the Nam show, equipment, Celestians, and uh, who else are you visiting today? Uh, I got to go to my Marshall guys. You know, my endorsements, Gibson. You know. I, mean, I like Fender's. I like Fender stuff too. You know, Fender guitar. I mean, everybody got to have. If you play a Gibson, you got to have a Fender too. You know. um, uh, Nady, my Nady guys, wirelesses. Oh, a whole bunch of friends. I got friends at BC Rich. One of my good friends is uh, BB at a BC Rich. So I'll go over there and say say hi to him. You know. But uh, how you? Uh, what do you? Uh, what do you? Uh, what you see? Doing VintageRock.com, man. Reporting on everything that's going on in oh, NAMM 2014. This is, this is exciting. I love I love doing this. Yeah. It's where everybody. Oh man, are you kidding me? It's like my Disneyland. <laughs> I even said that in the press in the press video they had. They interviewed me the other day. It really is because all my friends are in like a, a six block radius. You know. I wasn't coming today, and uh, Derek St. Holmes from Nugent, you know, is my buddy. And I, I said I don't think I'm going to come on Friday. There's a lot of traffic. He says uh, you're coming. <laughs> I'm like okay, I got in the car, came down here because it's too much fun. I'm having a ball. It's terrific. Dave Amato, we appreciate you talking with us, man. Thanks a lot, man. Best of everything with REO Speedwagon, Celestians, and everybody else, there. Good to see you, man, in a long time. Again, Junkman, VintageRock.com, NAMP Show 2014. Thanks, guys.